So hello friends, in today's video we are going to discuss about the query whose throughput is high in Ethernet, a smaller size frame or a higher size frame. So a smaller size frame have high, higher throughput or the higher size frame has higher throughput. We will discuss about this query. So let's start. So before discussing about this query, we will discuss about the Ethernet framing structures first. We, will, we are not going to uh, discuss in very detail but just let's see the frame structure of Ethernet frame. So you can see here, this is the Ethernet frame structure 802.3 and tagged frame. So there are total uh, three to four types of frame structure. You can see here, this is the 802.1Q tagged frame Ethernet frame structure. And this is the 802.1D double tagged frame Ethernet frame structure. And this is 802.1H provider backbone bridge frame uh, Ethernet frame structure. So you can see here in every Ethernet frame structure preamble, SFD, destination address, source address, ether type, FCS. These bytes are fixed. If it, it is tagged frame, so tag is also fixed. So length of these uh, preamble, SFD, destination address, source address, ether type and FCS is fixed in every type of Ethernet frame structure you can see. And this IFG interframe uh, interframe group you can say this is 12 byte and this interframe group is added after a, every ethernet frame structure and after e, after every ethernet frame this ifg byte is there so that the next byte uh, can become after this ifg byte so you can see here in all the ethernet frame structure one thing is common the variable is only this data payload so data payload size is 46 byte to 1500 byte so and uh, the ethernet frame size what is the ethernet frame size so ethernet frame size is from destination address to fcs this information these total byte is known as the ethernet frame so if you are talking about ethernet frame size then you can consider the ethernet frame size for this first ethernet frame structure is 6 byte 6 byte plus 2 byte plus uh, data payload byte plus 4 byte this will be the ethernet frame size so ethernet frame size does not include the preamble sfd and ifg so you can see here the in ethernet frame size the da sa ether type and fcs is fixed in every frame size the data payload is variable so you can say the frame size is also depends upon the data payload so if the frame if we are using a 46 byte data payload then the ethernet frame size will be smaller and if we use 1500 byte data payload then the frame size will be larger so we can calculate that uh, in this way the frame size for uh, you can calculate for every ethernet frame structure the frame size so uh, in 802.1q the frame size will be from this da byte to fcs byte in 802.1ad the ethernet frame size will be from da byte to fcs in 802.1 uh, AH the frame size will be BDA to FCS so in this way the Ethernet frame size you can calculate and that is depends upon the data payload so let's uh, go on the solution or you can see the answer of the query the smaller size frames have a lower effective throughput than the larger size because the addition of the preamble and the inter packet gap bytes which do not count as a data so this is the answer actually so you can say if you are talking about the uh, lower smaller frame size it means we it means the data payload byte is smaller then the frame size will be smaller and if the data payload byte is uh, larger then the frame size will be larger so what happens suppose we want to send 460 byte data payload and we are using 46 byte data so there will be 10 ethernet frames and in every Ethernet frame, there will be preamble SFD, DA, uh, and uh, this IFG, uh, sorry, preamble SFD and IFG. This will be fixed for every Ethernet frame size. So for 460 byte data, we need to send 10 Ethernet frames in which every Ethernet frame, these overheads is included. And if we are using a single data payload of 460 byte, then in only one Ethernet frame, we can send that data. And this preamble white, this preamble SFD and IFG is fixed for that uh, 15 and 460 byte data payload.
so this is the uh, this is the main region for a smaller frame size this preamble sfd and ifg is included in every ethernet frame and that uh, reduce the throughput actually basic throughput so we will discuss in detail or we can understand better in the next slide so why the smaller size frames have a lower effective throughput than the larger size so in this question you know that the smaller size frames have a lower effective throughput and larger size frames have the higher effective throughput so let's see you can see here this is the table this is the table for 10 megabits per system there is a bit rate for 10 megabits bit rate system this is the frame size this is the data throughput this is the preamble and igp and this is the frames per second so suppose this uh, we are talking about we are taking here example as a 10 megabit per second system bit rate is 10 megabit so this is fixed so uh, so let's see we are just variable the uh, varying the frame size so for 64 this is the frame size including vlan so 64 is the frame size so you can see here the data throughput here is 7.62 megabit per second preamble and igp is 2.38 megabit per second and 14880 frames per second this is the frame rate so you can if you can add 7.62 2.38 you will get this 10 mbps so you can see here if you are taking the 16 4 frame size then the data throughput is 7.62 let's increase it we are moving to from 64 to 128 frame size and you can say you can see that the data throughput is increased 8.65 and the preamble and igp is 1.35 so you can see whenever you are just uh, increasing the frame size the data throughput is increasing why because preamble and igp size is reducing like in previous slide you uh, see that whenever we are using the frame we are using the larger frame size than the preamble size and the igp size that is reduced and that's why the throughput is increased so you can see here if you are talking about 1522 frame size then the data throughput will be 9.87 and preamble is only 0.13 and 8 10 frames per second for this 10 mbps 10 mbps rate so let's see for 100 mbps system you can see again if you are using 70 uh, 64 frame size then data throughput is 76.19 megabit per second and preamble is 23.81 and frames per second is 1,48,809 so when we are increasing the frame size you can see the data throughput is increasing preamble is decreasing and the frame size is also decreasing to maintain this 100 mb bit rate for 1000 mbps per second the same you can see if the frame size is increasing data throughput is keeps increasing preamble is decreasing and frames per second is also de uh, decreasing to maintain this 100 mbps per second so you can see the smaller size frames have a lower effective throughput a smaller size frame have lower effective throughput than the larger size because the addition of preamble and the inter packet gap bytes so we have taken this example you can see if you are talking uh, if suppose suppose we want to say uh, send 1522 uh, frame size so for 1522 frame size if you are talking if 1522 uh, data payload we need to send and we if you are using the 64 frame size so we need to send multiple frames and that's why the preamble and igp will increase and hence the data throughput will decrease if we send all uh, this 1522 or 1500 byte data payload in a single frame size thus this preamble sfd or you can see the overhead is limited and this a preamble will be decreased and the data throughput will be increased so that's it the basic region to have a smaller size frames lower effective throughput than the larger size hope it clears thank you thank you bye